Friday on Home and Family, actor and veteran J.R. Martinez shares his passion for Operation Finally Home, which builds homes for wounded veterans. And we finish our Shaping Up for Summer series with nutritionist Christine Avanti and her bikini body bites. That's Friday right here on Home and Family. We are back and we have something very special and unique for you, a blend of science and entertainment provided by the dancing scientist himself, Jeffrey Vinegar. Welcome, Hello. sir. Good All to right, have you with us. Here. We, we are, I mean, we're going to get into a lot of trouble, I think, today. I'm excited. Where did, where did your fascination from science come from? I was one of those kids that was just always so into science. I would mix things up in my kitchen, then in my garage. I would build robots, potato cans, all that fun stuff. And it really started when I was a kid. When you're curious, that's the time to get the kids interested in science, have them do you know, fun, simple, easy experiments at home. So that's what I'm sharing today. Were your today. parents did cleaning you? up a lot? A little bit, yes, <laughs> definitely. And did they encourage you? Absolutely, they definitely encouraged me to pursue my interests no matter what they were. And it just happened that science was my thing. I love learning how, how things work, why they work. Kids have a natural curiosity, and so that's the best time to get them into something But was like there this. a mentor for you, Jeffrey? Was there somebody that you, look, my kids love Mythbusters. I don't know, but they, you know, and I don't know half the stuff these guys do, so they watch that, and then they want to go experiment. And I'm like, I, that may blow up, you know? <laughs> was there somebody in your life that, you know, you look towards that you, that you kind of went out and- I was lucky to have some really amazing science teachers growing up in middle school and high school that they did demonstrations and all this amazing stuff. They, they were there after school till six o'clock, and I, I realize a lot of students don't really have those kind of experiences. Yeah. You know, the, there's a, a financial problem with that and all kinds of things. So I travel around to schools, I bring the science experiments, I make things bubble, fizz, explode, change colors, and add a little bit of dancing, which we'll see later. Uh, oh, so dancing. can, can ooh. Ooh, so you're gonna incorporate that later, but can later you- on, uh, yeah. Later on, <laughs> Can you show us some easy experiments that you can do at home with your kids? Definitely, I brought my three favorites. Okay. So the first one, really easy ingredients. All you need is some milk, whole milk works best. We have about half a cup here. I'm okay. just gonna take the milk, warm it up, maybe 45 uh, minutes, 45 Mid seconds. 45 to 45 minutes. In the microwave. Wow, really? And hot. then you're gonna pour it into your plate. I'm gonna use a pizza pan. Can we do that now? Yeah, go okay. ahead. Just gonna pour the milk, just enough to cover the bottom. Hmm. All in there. Now the milk is warm because molecules move faster when they're hot. So okay. this is gonna work better. So we're almost done. It's almost oh, that easy. Okay. <laughs> not, Look not at quite, that. Wow. Quite. Now we're going to take food coloring, liquid Kim, food don't coloring. don't cry. No, it's spilled milk, but don't cry. <laughs> and you're, and you're going to drip the food coloring in the middle. How much? Maybe like three, four drops. The, the fun thing with science is you can experiment. You, you don't have to follow the rules. Maybe do six okay. drops, maybe do two drops. Okay. And kind of low. You, you don't want them keep to, all the colors? to splatter too much. Yeah, all of them. And on top of each other or in different Kind of next to each other in the middle, kind of like so. Ooh, the green looks good. Wow. This? Look at this. Oh, like All right, that. but the science hasn't started yet. Oh, it hasn't? Not eye. quite. <laughs> wow. Well, the mess has. <laughs> uh. All right, now it's time for the magic. Right over there, okay. Like Ready? Okay. So we're going to take a Q-tip in some regular dish soap, as I have here. Ooh. And you're going to get as much as you can, and then you're going to dip it right into the middle. I'm going to go first, and then you guys will, okay. will follow okay. this one. So kind of like so. Take all this soap and dip it right in here in the middle. Oh. We have this magic oh. fireworks oh. milk. What kind of soap is this? Magic soap? Okay. What is it? This is regular oh, dish soap. Any going. brand will work. It keeps going and going. Hey, you, you go. Why don't you go, go ahead? Explain what, what's, what's right happening here. Well, wow, that was even better than mine. No, uh, what's happening? It has to do with surface tension. Uh -huh. What is that? Well, if you ever taken pepper and put it on top of water, for example, kind of like, like so, you see that it floats, yeah. right? It does. But if you were to take some soap and dip this into the middle here, well, it didn't work right there, but usually the, <laughs> oh, what's happening? the pepper kind of will, will spread out. See how it's kind of well, spreading? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's because you're breaking the surface tension. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Mark, why I haven't gone ahead? yet. I oh haven't gone yet. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Oh. Like it's beautiful. like a kaleidoscope of it keeps beautiful going. colors. Mine's if, still going. If we zoom into my pizza pan and kind of in this area here, you'll see that it's just going and going and going. It lasts about five minutes. Wow. And, look at all wow. the pretty colors. Doesn't that look like one of those things that you looked at when you were a child, the kaleidoscope? Definitely. I have to show this to my kids money. because they have no idea what to use a Q-tip for. It's really my favorite. It yes. takes milk, food coloring, and soap, things you have in your kitchen right now. It's non-toxic, you could drink this. I'm not saying you should, but it would. But it's, you it's you not. could drink but, it? You know, oh yeah, you don't. could, because it's food coloring. All right. Oh, okay. So we're disturbing we're the surface tension. Okay. The ink is going around. Sure. Look at that. That's amazing. what's going on there. All right. So okay, what's up next? Can we make some slime? Two. I'm actually just going to okay. move this to the side. That's okay. pretty, Mark. Look at Was that. Was I supposed to be wearing protective eyewear and goggles? Yeah. With, and with the gloves? milk, it's okay, but for the okay. next one, we're, we're putting on the gloves and the goggles. All right, I got mine. You need a towel? Here we go. We got a little spilled milk here. 
Don't Excuse cry, me. Kim. I told you there's a little spilled milk. I know, spilled milk. There we go. Such a cute milk. Real careful. Okay. Wow. All right, Doctor. part two. We're going to make slime. You can make any color you want. We're going to use the same food coloring. Here's what you need. You need to measure out one cup of regular tap water, and you're going to add half a teaspoon of borax, just common household cleaning product, right in there. Oh, am I doing that? And then okay. you're just going to mix right. it around. Right. You know, I should have brought spoons, but a little, little spoons. tight on the budget. I have spoons. We have spoons. <laughs> Kidding. Okay. <laughs> Just going for the joke. There's a spoon, a can opener. You took, right, take sure, let's, take let's this out of here, right? Yep, take that and, and dump right. the powder in there. The powder goes in. Okay. And mix and there mix and goes. mix and mix. So we're just mix. dissolving borax in water. It's a common cleaning product used in laundry. Can we, can, would it be, can I, can I go <laughs> like that? Definitely. Just to be <laughs> Once a little we make the slime. Oh, okay. okay, okay, perfect. Is this warm water or cool water? Uh, it's about warm. It's going to okay. be like lukewarm. It doesn't okay. matter too much. Okay. Well, so you're now, comes, right. now comes oh. the glass. Now comes the glass. I don't have any. Okay. okay. That's okay. That's okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. I found it. Sure, Kim. Take yeah, my glass. I did it. Okay. No, all right. All right. So we have clear glue. It's Elmer's brand. The brand doesn't matter, but the clear glue works best. And you're going to take the glue. This is five ounces, and you're going to add it to about half a cup of water. Here, the water. Not in there. Yep. Not in there. The water. Right, right into here. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, as much okay. as you can. Oh, that sounds funny. Nice little sound we got going on. Look at that, huh? And now, you're going to mix it up. So take the spoon and just mix and mix and mix. In the Kids' Choice Awards, is this what they have fallen I asked on, on their hands. hands. They use a slightly different formulation, but it's it's pretty similar. Okay. All right, it's all mixed up. Now wow. we're going to make our slime. How do you do it? First, you pour it into the bowl. The solution of glue, just right in there. <laughs> really looks now, I'm not suggesting you use your dishware. You know, go and get a, a plastic cup or a bowl. Okay. So you can throw it out when you're done. And okay. mix in some food coloring. I'm going to use red. You guys can choose a different color. Oh. Just like that. And then I'm going to mix it. I like. I want to do red too. Purple slime. I want to do red. Slime How much I put in? As much as you want. So, Something about science, right? There it's experimenting. There you go. Oh, I love your rules. <laughs> there's, there's not much rules in this. I know. That's what oh, I love about it. Here, All right. Oh. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. We're ready to make the slime. See, right now it's just kind of liquidy. Nothing yeah, special. Yeah, it's not very it's like slimy. Jello. But we have to add the borax. And what it does oh. is we can think of this as like oh. magnets. This liquid is negatively charged. This is positively charged. We mix them together. Those charges stick together and it gets gooey. All right. Okay. So just not all at once. You just kind of go little by little. And stir. Experiment. Yeah, you add it in and oh, you keep stirring. It's getting thicker. Oh, Ooh. it's, it's don't like jello. All of it, I'd say maybe half of it is good. We'll give us about five more seconds and then we're going to lift it up. It's okay to be messy. Go ahead and mix yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, it's getting nice and thick. This is fun. Okay. Great time. All right. So I'm going right. to go first. I'm going to lift mine oh. up. Look at this. Oh, oh. that's awesome. Oh. This is. Oh. Christy, oh. Look oh, at yours. Oh, that looks Let's so cool. Let's slime Mark. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Look at that. <gasps> How long is it going to go? How high can I go with it? Now, the glue it's that. made from is safe and non-toxic, but still, it's not advised that you eat it. It wouldn't hurt you, but we're not saying <coughs> you put any of this in your mouth. Adult supervision is suggested. Look at that. Well, look, we're going to step away for a second. We have more to do with Jeffrey, <laughs> including the figuring it. out the whole dancing scientist thing, how that came about. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Leah. <laughs> Shoot.